Hey everybody, um, how's it going? Is it really hot where you are? Oh, let me turn my volume down, hold on. Oh, my computer is really loud over there. Um, hopefully I'm live, I can't see anything yet. So today we're going to um, be working with the decoupage papers. They are super awesome. And uh, I don't know if you all have noticed from my lives before, I have this um, hutch thing that I have over my, uh, my desk here and uh, my work table really. And it you know, holds like my transfers and other products and stuff. Hi, Danielle. Danielle, yes. And um, it originally was from a piece that I had for sale like three or four years ago. And the lady didn't want the hutch part, but she still paid me for the base. So I got to keep the, the bottom, I mean the top part, the hutch, for free. And I, I love it. It's, it's very spacious and whatnot. So now I'm going to decorate it. Um, so we're going to work with this one, which is, oops, I just dropped the thing that tells me what the name is. This one's called Dark Floral. I knew that's what it was called, but I wanted to verify so I've done a couple of lives um, for the decoupage papers, but just want to go over that, go over it again, just to make sure. So if you've ever been a sewer, um, this they're very similar to uh, interfacing. Hi, Joe. Um, it's uh, it's really you know like, like you can't rip it. It's, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I mean, it's like, it's crazy. Um, so they're super awesome. They don't wrinkle, nothing like that, right? Um, but that's, it's kind of what it's like made out of, right? Or it has also the similar consistency to like a, uh, like a dryer sheet. You know, it's got that, that texture, right? So it's, it's thick. They're, uh, they're extremely durable easy to sand and easy to apply. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. So we can cut it um, or we can sand it, but because I'm live, I'm going to cut it because that will be the best way. Hi, Dustin. I, I am, I'm playing a, a internet tag with my kid who is starting online schooling today so she's taking some of the internet so if I disappear that's why hi Lisa all right guys I'm gonna move it down so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm going to scoot it over that way okay so here's my one drawer and so I'm going to cut my my paper to fit. And I thought this one was pretty with with the wood because I didn't paint the sides. So it's gonna show, um, it's gonna keep with this color scheme here, right? The kind of orangey creams, it's gonna look good with my wood. So whatever color I put on here, like if I decided I was gonna paint it and I had done say, um, like a, a, a bright blue, then that would come through on the white. So I don't know if you can see like where my finger is behind there, it looks pink, right? But if I move it, then it's white. So whatever color, hi Joni, whatever color is behind your whites or your lighter colors on the paper will show through. So just keep that in mind anytime you're doing any of the decoupage papers, because some of them are white. So, you know, if you want them to stay white, you're gonna have to make sure to, you're gonna have to make sure to keep it a white color behind. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, figure out where my cut line will be on this. And I'm just gonna use my, my fingers to kind of make a crease quickly so I know where to cut 
You don't need to be precise because you can always sand it after if you needed to. Or you could, you know, be real. Uh, Hi, Ashley. Great. Thank you for joining. You know, you could be really precise and actually like, you know, measure it like a, a, a regular person would, but I'm not regular, so. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Why would I do that when I could have so much fun making a mess? All right. So I've got my little crease here and I'm just gonna cut. Okay. And since it's for me, it doesn't have to be precise or even. I'm okay if it's not perfect. Nobody's going to see the side of my drawers. If I was doing it for a customer, I would be a lot more, a lot more picky. You can't see? Side of my drawer. Paper. And there, it'll be like so. All right, and so I'm just gonna put it up like that. And what I'm going to use for this, you can use any clear coat. And um, I'm, I just happen to have the Dixie Belle clear coat handy. So, um, that's what I'm going to use, but you can absolutely use, you can use polycrylic, you can use any, you know, any clear coat, a uh, water-based clear coat, a varnish, that's fine, whatever you want. You can even use Mod Podge if you want. I prefer the clear coat. I, I feel like the Mod Podge kind of is, it's a little too thick. So, all right. So what you want to do is you're just going to want to do a sandwich, right? Mod, uh, clear coat paper, and then uh, clear coat over that. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick coat along the side of my drawer here. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. You just want a good, nice, complete covered coat. Okay, simple as that, right? See? All right, and then take your paper and you're just going to place that over and it will stick to your clear coat that you have on there now. So I'm gonna line it up with the top because I can always sand the bottom if I need to, okay? So it just, it sticks on, right? Like it's not flying off or rolling up or any of that, okay? And then you're just going to do another coat over top. And I'll show you that in a sec. And this one will basically just flatten it out. You don't have to wait for the other to dry first. You can if you like but you don't have to. And you want it to be, I mean, not super thick, but you'll see when you're, when you're putting it on, it soaks into the wood. I mean, it soaks into the paper. And when it soaks into the paper, that's when you know that you have a good coat on that's going to dry hard and ensure that your paper is not going to go anywhere. It's sort of, it's got like a little bit of a nap to it, the paper. So it's going to kind of go into the, all those little grooves and, and, and notches in the paper. Um, usually the clear coat dries pretty quick um you know maybe what 10 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes somewhere in there it shouldn't take too too long okay so i have 
a little excess there. All right, so when this one's dry, this will need to be sanded off a little just because I didn't, uh, I don't know if you can see. It's just a tiny, it's over a little tiny bit, see? But nothing major. But that can be sanded off. But it's nice and evenly on there. But that'll look really cute, right? With the the colors of my my uh, gray here. Once it's dry, it sort of has a blue tint to it right now. Okay, and then so the same thing on the other side, which technically I probably should have done prior to doing this, but that's okay. I shall cut like so. Line this up again. And you can fold it and crease the paper. And then I'm just going to cut now I could just put this on like so and then you know sand off my excess but I'm going to um, I want the I want the flower to be prominent. So if I do it this way, then I'm cutting halfway through the flower. So I have to go from the bottom up. So I will just do what I did before and crease where where I want to cut with my fingers. That's going to be the easiest way. And then just cut that because I want that pretty flower to be prominent. Yes, I can use a rotary cutter, but I don't have one. So I just use my regular kitchen scissors. Uh. Okay, so then I keep my leftovers, keep all of your scraps, because you never know when you need them. All right, and again, same thing. We're just going to put a coat straight onto our wood. And I'm just using a regular brush. This one happens to be a, a Dixie Bell brush, but you can use any brush. You can use a chip brush. You could use whatever you like. Any kind of brush, Nothing's, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy needed. Okay, so now I've got my, my coat of clear coat on, and then I'm going to lay my, let's see if I can do it this way so you guys can see, and lay my my decoupage paper here. So I need this to be straight over to my edge here. Okay. And this side I will definitely have to do a little touch up with my uh, my sandpaper just to make it nice and even because it's a little off over here, which is fine because it, it sands beautifully. All right. And then we will take our clear coat and clear coat here as well. I don't wait for it to dry between coats. There's no, 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 it's not necessary to do that. I wish I could show you, maybe I can. Let's see if I can get this closer for you. I don't know if you can see this. And put my glasses up so I can show you. See here how where it's blue? Where it's blue is where it, the sealer has gotten into the paper, into all of the little um, 
see, I don't know. Can you see all those tiny little squares, itty bitty little squares? That's how the paper's made, right? So when I go to apply my clear coat, I want to make sure that it looks clear, like all of those squares are gone. See, as I'm doing it, you see them? So I want to make sure that's filled in, that they're all filled in. That will ensure that you have a good, solid adhesion. And that paper will not be going anywhere. Fibers, yeah. All right. Put my glasses back on. I'm not ready for readers yet, y'all. I know I'm old as dirt, but I'm refusing. I'm refusing, refusing to wear readers. It's not going to happen. Okay. All right. There. That's good. Even coverage. Oh, there's one little spot. Good even coverage. It's going to dry you like a rock. It's going to be awesome. Okay, let me scroll up a sec. Yeah, wallpaper paste works awesome too. Yep, for sure. Yep. Yeah, the papers are awesome. And um, we actually have, uh, um, I think it's six new ones for this release. So hopefully you should start to see um, today and the rest of this week um, <laughs> uh, uh, sneak peeks from the transfers. We have 13 new transfers and I think it's six papers and um, uh, two molds. So hopefully you get to see all those awesome uh, sneak peeks from today until the 24th. 24th is full reveal. So it should be super, super awesome. Yeah, see this one, it's, it's almost dry. I can't sand it yet though. But yeah, isn't that cute? That's how it's gonna look in my, uh, in my, my cabinet or my hutch, I guess. Yeah. But they're so easy to use. No, I put a link up above um, in my description um, uh, for the the store locator um, where you can, if when you click on that, it'll bring you to the redesign page and it will give you uh, online uh, orders or online retailers and brick and mortar retailers. Um, I'm using just Dixie Bell clear coat, just regular old Dixie Bell clear coat. Um, you can use any top coat that you like, whatever your preference is, just uh, like polycrylic would work. Um, you know, wise all varnish, you know, just off the top of my head. Uh, chippy barn clear coat, uh, mud paint clear coat, like any any clear coat as long as it's water based would work great. Mod Podge also works. Uh, wallpaper adhesive works too. So there's so many choices and options, and it's awesome. You're, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, because it's a big order. It's a I mean a big release this time. So yeah, there's uh there's lots of lots of choices. And let me tell you, they are awesome. There are some beautiful, beautiful transfers this time. I think everybody's going to really, really like it. And it's like a spectrum of, you know, totally different styles. So it will be really, really great. Um, okay, guys, so that was a pretty short uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to wait for these guys to dry. And, um, again, you want a sandwich. So, clear coat, paper, clear coat. Easy peasy. And they dry super hard. And there's they sand beautifully. And they are just a great little alternative to, you know, adding to the sides. Um, any retailer will have them. Um, Michelle, I'm using uh, Dixie Bell clear coat which is like polycrylic. 
just a regular sealer, water-based sealer. And this paper was the dark floral, which is really pretty. Yep, so here, I'll show you guys again the paper. Mm, this way. Usually goes this way. I mean, it's so pretty, right? I love this paper. I use it a lot. Yeah, any retailer, Joe. Um, most of them, you know, most ever covers uh, has has all of that stuff. Most retailers have things, papers. I am having such a really difficult time talking today. <laughs> like seriously, having a hard time talking. I think it's because I had to get so up, up, up so early with the the child and doing the online learning stuff. Good Lord. Yep, it does. It, yeah, I, I, you know what I mean. Retailers carry most of the redesigned products. So there you go. All right, I give up for today, so, ah, <laughs> uh, crazy. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't take very long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, and of course, you know, depending on your, your temperature and whatnot in your house or, you know, outside or whatever, you could always use a hair dryer, dry the quicking, uh, dry the, <sighs> see, uh, blah, 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 blah. Use a hair dryer to dry it quicker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I give up, y'all. All right. Um, I'll see you next Monday. Uh, make sure to, to come and join and say hi. Going to have another awesome thing planned for next Monday. All right, guys. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I cannot get my words to work out correctly today. So I will, uh, I will see you all later. All right. Bye.